Hello again! Hi, <laughs> it's Viper here. And in this video today, we are going to talk about metallics. We're gonna talk about everything, like how to unlock metallic, the basic of how metallic is working, and we also are going to talk about how to, what strategy you should do to try to improve and get more metallics. Well, how far, what are you going to go first for when you have metallics? And also, as you see here, you have probably some question here. Unless you are a player who is further than me or come really far, you have many questions. What is all of these things? The auto thing here, a lot of stones here, shiny axe here. What is this egg here? How is it working? So on. That I'm going to take in the other video when it comes to giants. But we are also going to talk about how to prepare for getting giant in the end of this video as well. So I'm gonna try to take absolutely everything that is regarding metallic. So strap down, find some popcorn, soda and everything and get ready and let us talk about metallic from A to Z. So first I'm gonna do here is to end off doing this here. And yes, what is metallic? That's maybe the first thing. Is it a metallic pat or is it a metallic skin? You even hear me call it a metallic pat, right? Well, it's not me a metallic pat. It is a skin. So basically, first thing we could do, I can press 2 on my keyboard here if you're on PC. So when we are in here, I can just shut down this here. You see that there has come a lot of metallics and all the stuff here. But we are going to talk about here and we're going to talk about metallic. What is metallic? Well, it is skins, okay? So... Basically here, um, what a metallic skin is, is that I can take off this one here, is that, that you get a skin for you, like shiny skins here, right? You have a one-on-one -on -one for shiny. You can get a skin that you can use and so on. Metallic is also a skin, but you cannot get it like shiny here. You see I have 1500 shiny uh, the golden dog skins, but a metallic I can't have 1500. I can first get a chrome, then I, the second time I get it, I get a golden, the third time I get it, I get a diamond, the fourth time I get an obsidian, and then I get a t titanium. And the titanium is the last one. So now, uh, earlier in the game, you could didn't get anything when you got the titanium after that. But now, if you are getting uh, this one more time, you will get something called a titanium ingot. We're going to talk about the titanium ingot in the end of the video, because that is for end game use when you are in in in, in the mine in the end there. So that is basic metallic. So it's it is skins, but it's a le different level that you can have of the skins uh, and so on. And the maximum that you can get the in in score is 1200. So the score for shiny skins is different. There you get like a different point, like one to 40 points. Uh, based on which skin type you have, so, so uh, common skin give one point, mythical penis skin give 40 points, and the same with giant, it's like the uh, one common skin give one point and mythical give eight points. But with metallic, it's not like that. You get one point for each level that you get in there. So totally, there is 240 pets in the game, and if you times that with five, you get 1200, right? So that's where the 1200 is coming from. So I press 2 on my keyboard here again, and I get off the overview of the skins that I have here. We will also come back well, what the strategy is, what you're going to have, and so on. But basically, that is, it's a metallic skin. To be able to get metallic skin, the requirement is that when you are inside of a grotto here, uh, you, you will... Oh, I was stuck there for some second. You need to have 1000 in shiny score to get into groove where you can unlock metallic. And the question is, can you get metallic skins before you unlock groove? The answer is no. I'm gonna soon come to why that is, but the answer is no. You cannot get metallic skin before you get into um, the, the groove. And also there is one more step that you have to do before you can get, get metallic. So it, I, directly after you unlock groove, you will still not be able to get metallic before you do the next step. The requirements is, as I said, 1000 shiny skins and here it comes a very very important point for you to understand right if you are not got there uh, anymore remember immediate now with, after the lab update came if you unlock this here you will also change your questing so quest will be like hundred times harder after you unlock this but you also will be able to get rune stones okay so we also be able to get rune stones when you get in there so we're gonna talk about rune stone very quickly as well because that is also can help you to improve the amount of metallic skins that you can get. 
So, in a way, I recommend people to more strive to get the 10k pet score and, and uh, get the automation station and look my video uh, for automation strategy 10k under the Rebirth Guide 4 playlist. That video you should be looking on how, the, how to do the strategy around automation there. But okay, it's not automation this. Okay, so let's say you have got 1000 shiny skins and in that way, like 1000 shiny skins, you can see how I have 7.7 .7 million of them. So yes, <laughs> don't worry, you're gonna get so many of there. And remember, do not strive to get 1000 shiny skins. Much more important to get Wallop rights and Golden Comb and everything else up there. Look into my reboot guide of how I talk about these things here. So when you have got in here, the thing is then is that you will then need to unlock uh, the metallic. So this one here, as you see, I have done 153 steps on this one here. It, back in the days, it was maximum 100 steps, and now it's 200 different steps for so on. And the last most expensive step is 250k now. Every one last one is 250k now. The first step for this one to unlock um, um, to your possibility to get metallic skins, which is 0 0.00001, which is like a billion zeros before one here. It was uh, it, it is more, almost impossible to get it, right? You can't really think you will get it. You need to be uh, really lucky to get it fast. But anyway, it's 10 uh, stones that is costing to unlock this one here and then we will come back to strategy on um, on how to upgrade this one again I would also uh, show to my reboot guide 4 and also the simplified reboot guide 4 and look at my new wiki page there where you can find all of these on a formula how to, how to upgrade this metallic towards uh, the automation area okay so that is also important to see that uh, that that relationship there. So go look that video as well after this one here. So basically, this is where you increase the chance of getting a metallic. And also, if you go to the stats page, you can see on the stat page your chance of getting a metallic. As you see, mine is one in twenty-seven thousand, and I can boost it as well. We're gonna talk about that really soon as well when we're gonna talk about the lab update. I also have my own video for lab update because. To sit here and explain all of the different combinations you can have for lab, well, that's going to take like 45 minutes. That's why it's our own video for it. Okay, so that basically this is the unlock, right? Uh, after you have unlocked this one, there is also an upgrade here on the side that I think is, I don't remember, is 60 or 70 stones. It's not much, but there is no point to unlock this one before you forget your first shiny skin, right? Oh, no, before you get your first metallic. Because what this upgrade here, pol uh, uh, Polished Metal does, is it, it is going to increase the damage of your metallic pad depending on how many shiny skins you have. Let's say that your first um, metallic pad is, yeah, let's say it is, it, it is the Golden Dog. Most likely, first the metallic pe most people uh, is getting is an epic or a legendary or a prodigious one. That's kind of the normal. Normally, you would be hatching either constantly epic egg or legendary egg. And also remember, the first metallic is expected to get around 100k pet score, but it is possible to get it for, uh, before that and later on that and so on. So if you get it before 100k pet score, you have been really, really lucky there. But basically, let's say we take this uh, silver gorilla here. So let's. Let's go down to the gorilla here and you're gonna go down and look at that one I have 860 of that one right so basically the this the formula done for my pet is that I, I'm gonna get the damage that pet does basically according to the ta damage table that you find in the first area times 1 plus 860 divided by 1000 it means it's actually increasing the damage of, of um, that pet by uh, 86%. It's a quite remarkable increase of that one. And you can imagine when you go look at my mythical one here, which is like 15,600. And you take that into the formula, that is been like 15, 16. It increased my damage 16 times. So yeah, the shiny skin, this is very, very important later in the game, not very important in the beginning of the game, okay? So this is really nice, but unlock this one after you have got your first metallic, not before, okay? So, and then also what is new, you will not be able to go inside of here because you have, before you have mine. So it, there will be a wall here, but we will have this area here. And you also have an upgrade here, which is very good for metallic. 
this is metallic upgrade so you can get 20% more uh, like what times 1.2 means 20% more chance of getting metallic on this one but just remember right after you unlock this one you it's it's gonna take you hours just to get one rune stones you see I have a lot of leftover and done everything but later in the game when you do income it go faster because the questing here is depending very dependent on how much gold income that you have right so but anyhow any rune stuff that you get is very good to get into this metallic here to increase the metallic and also for these four upgrades here i do not use the same formula you know all wall upgrades i upgrade for the same cost for this one here i recommend depending on what you are doing if you're after to getting more stones and and so on and shiny, uh, shiny skins, then increase the egg, egg, egg here. If you are looking for better metallic chance, then increase this one here. Uh, if you want to have better damage and also better damage on, a, on your metallics, then increase this one shiny here as well. But I would say it's more important for you to upgrade this one before you upgrade the shiny one. Because uh, the shiny uh, skins here is not really helping you that much uh, that you get more shiny skins before you have metallics, okay? And then you have also gold income with this one is good to do. So maybe upgrade this, uh, the coin and metallic in the beginning. So that is for that. So basically this is the basic for the runestone. You can improve it a little bit in the beginning. But this is really helping you more mid game and end game. You're going to get really good boost from this one. But not really early in the game. As you know, Re Rebot Guide 4 is not... Uh, uh, kind of sh uh, recommending you to do questing actually but you can do a little bit of questing you will be doing and you then with all you get you can put into gold here and uh, the metallic in, in for, for that sake and okay so basically this is giving the percentage chance of, of how, how, much, uh, how often let's say where if it's one in the 300,000 I go 200,000 I go 100,000 I go or 14,000 one in 14,000 egg which is the best that you can get in the game well it's always gonna be depending on how fast you can hatch right so at the moment most likely you probably don't have even auto generation so it's gonna be looking like this so basically you will probably most likely you will be hatching either epic or legendary egg and why do I say that? Because the thing is, that, yeah, okay, you go in here, oh yeah, prodigious egg is the best one to hatch, and you do that, but the problem is that you have do so slow income. So you can just, yeah, you can just hatch one every five seconds. Well, that's gonna reduce the chance of getting metallic as well, right? And also, as long as you have fusing, um, f fuse lock more than 7%, this is actually the most expensive way of getting stones as well. That is why you normally is better to, to uh, take epic and legendary, most likely epic for most people. So and then to instead of hatching one bar no and then you can hatch constantly. So what you really are looking for is to hatch constantly one egg. That is very important to get uh, both shiny skins but also getting metallic skins. How many egg you are hatching per minute or per second depending on what you want to look at. You also see I have cloning in here. We're going to also talk about cloning because that is also helping metallic. So okay, basically we have talked about what metallic skins is. We have talked about how to unlock it and how to open it. How you can increase the damage on the metallic. And we also increased talking about the rune stones. And then we are going to talk about one very imp important factor. Because if you see when I hatch, I'm hatching really fast here. You can even spam with C and E, like on your keyboard, and you can hatch even faster. I don't bother to do that, but I remember we did that earlier in the game. But what you're really, really important for Metallic as well, that most people is forgetting to tell you about, is the hatch speed that you have in the game. You see, I have 500% increase on it. So this is deciding how fast you can hatch pads. So Trying to increase this speed here is very important. Also look in what I say in Rebirth Guide 4 that it should be helping you on this t team here as well. But hatching speed is tremendously important for, for you in, in this uh, manner, manner as well, right? So that is absolutely helping. Um, so that is de definitely. Also this egg lock, egg lock is not helping Metallic in a way. Um, so you can actually when you're really going for egg lock you can also go in an option down here and you can disable egg lock and you can disable fuse lock. This you're gonna need when you come a little bit later in game. We're gonna talk about that but disable egg lock and fuse lock is very uh, good in the beginning when after you get your best team. But that this is one of the next thing we're gonna talk about. So stay tuned in this video. We're gonna talk about everything about metallic. So 
it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. Um, so basically, it is good for many things, but for getting metallic skins, these are ne not necessarily helping you uh, in that way, because it's just upgrading. Um, and then also, uh, the speed is very important. Also now, after you have 1000 uh, pet score, and that's going to be way before you have 1000 shiny score, you have D-Lab. Okay, so we're going to talk uh, shortly about the lab, D lab in this video, but mostly how to set, see all the setups and everything, when to use everything. Please look at the video I have separately about a D lab. Look at that um, uh, wiki site I've been making there for more for finding that video as well, or search on my YouTube. So basically, on the lab here, on the left side here, you can unlock this one here. Basically, what you unlock this, uh, with this one here is that you unlock a uh, tremendous of tasks that you can do that's going to give you lab points. And by, by doing the task and getting lab points, then you can unlock this first level here. So this level one will be unlocked. And those lab points, you can go in here and put them in one by one with leveling up and so on on the sides here. And which one is good for there. I can just quickly tell you about which one is good for metallic. Well, income is good for metallic because you need income, of course. But cloning is very good for metallic. As you see, all the cloning and the reason... But remember, in the beginning, cloning is not necessary for metallic. It is later on. We need to have this metallic cluster here before cloning is good for metallic. But it's good for, for everything else in the game there. And also, shiny here is good for metallic. But not before you have got any metallic. It's good after you have got metallic. But anyhow, a setup like I have here could be good. But for you earlier game, please see that lab video for more details. Depending on what you need to do. But the really good one in here is this uh, metallic extra extraction 1. Which can increase your metallic quite uh, rapidly. And also uh, this metallic uh, extraction 2. That also can increase even more. As you see, this is uh, 0 for 0, 6 for everyone and this is zero, zero, four, 5 of them and you can take 10 of these them and one that is tremendously important later in game not now but there is the metallic discover lock that can give you up to 5% chance of getting a non titanium one this is really important to get the full co uh, uh, collection and getting the amount of co um, co common there. So this is good to have as soon as possible when you are hatching for common metallics and so on. Okay, and the really, really extra super duper good one. This is the metallic extraction tree that can increase it 20% just like the rune stones. But you see, I don't even have it now. And this is for end and game players to get those last metallics here. As you see, I have 1020. 41 so when you get on this trying to get 150 last one this is the one that is really together with these two last one here is the ones that is really gonna help you to get those last metallic okay so basically to get the other uh, levels you need to upgrade here and there I don't remember all of the cost but it's not too much but basically um, I, I don't think it's that important for metallic to upgrade this very much in the beginning. It's much more important the other side of here. Cloning is very good for you to get extra stones, which is very important to me upgrade metallic. So that's why cloning is very good. And that's also maybe why cloning on this first one can be a good option for you. It will give you more stones. After you get the cloning, you can have the recursive cloning. When a pet is cloned, clone lock is uh, rolled again max 9 times. So this this gives you one clone, but this does so that you can get up to t nine clone in, in a total ten cloning as well. So this again is just going to give you much more stones and so on. But then you have this metallic cluster, which is quite expensive one. But I would say, um, if you have a chance to AFK for a little over time, really save up for this one. Because this is like... This is like a game changer when it comes to the metallic skins. The reason for that, just think about that if you have to hatch like 100,000 eggs before you get one metallic. In average, it could be 200,000 eggs. Imagine that you get this one, because this does so that when you're getting cloning, you basically can get, um, well, if you get a chrome, you can basically, if you're really lucky, you can get the chrome, you can get gold, diamond, obsidian, and, and uh, titanium on one metallic hit so you get one lucky hit and it gets this one and then it's going to re-roll if it gets clone and then it's going to reload how many clone so if it's if it's a five cloning one you can get all of them you will get five metallic at just one roll so imagine just getting one clone it's going to give you like 
300,000 hatches in that case, if you have one in 100,000 in metallic. So this is a really game changer when it comes to getting more metallic. So this is tremendously speeding up, so it's absolutely worth to save up to do this one here. Quite early, actually, in the game. Um, it come late for me, but I would definitely have been saving up for this, this here. So this side here, with this metallic cluster, is definitely the most important one early game uh, for metallics and so on. Okay, so we have been talking most of the, what we have in a metallic and so on. And the next thing is uh, that is very important with a metallic is also again the automation. So again, I will refer you to see to the automation strategy 10k video for more detail on this, but I'm gonna just shortly talk about this. So basically, the qualification lock is very good uh, for getting more stones. But remember, you can get the qualification machine, but not upgrade it, okay? So just get it and not upgrade in the beginning before I, s before I say, because I, there is many other updates inside of the mine here that is much more better and more efficient for your progress than upgrading qualification lock. So please go and check the video, check my reboot guide for before you do that. But qualification machine, you definitely can get it, unlock it. And also the automation station is really, really good to, to get uh, as well. As you see here, that is the one that is really can automatically uh, equip your strongest pet and automatically fusing. And if you have the fusing game pass, it's gonna give you 25% more gold as well. It's tremendously good. So get generation station automation. The one that is not really, um, the automation and qualification. Um, the generation station is not really important for metallic, right? Because in the beginning, and also again, look at the more detail for that video, I, I really more explain it there. But in the beginning, your speed here is going to be 0 0.1 second or 0 0.01. I don't remember, 0 0.01 second. It basically is just ridiculous to look on it. And also you have to pay like 250 for each of the upgrades here if you're gonna up do more than common eggs. So please look to that video and reboot guide how to use generation station, but it's not really uh, important there. And then is on the question you're gonna say, okay, how is this affecting metallic? Well, generation station will actually affect metallic tremendously. Because, uh, as you can see here, if I turn it on again, if you can hatch, it, like, you know, normal hatching is like about one egg per second, or 0 0.88 eggs per second, or something like that, depending on the speed you have. But as, let's say one egg per second. This is five eggs per second. So when you get to closer to mid game and have started to max the qualification and the egg speed and so on, then you also have quite far into the metallic. So this is going to help you tremendously, basically because you're hatching more eggs. Hatching more eggs is giving it, 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 take it does so that it takes less time to get to those 100,000 eggs that you need if your metallic lock chance is 1 in 100,000, right? Basically, speed matters. But also remember, adjust the speed with which egg you have us on according to the reboot guide because you don't want this speed, this machine here to stop the normal hatching that you have because then you will end up hatching actually less eggs than you, uh, less eggs that you could be doing and so on. But generally the, the, the formula I take from the qualification station, the upgrade of this one uh, should be upgraded in one tenth of um, uh, uh, one I think it's one tenth of the cost for this one. So when this costs 1000, the co cost on this one should be 100. And then for a metallic, when this costs um, 1000, the metallic should be costing 2000. Okay, so that's the simple formula. You find that in the river guide and also in that automation strategy 10k video. Then when you get to 10k uh, uh, score uh, on, on the metallic, I would actually stop upgrading the metallic at that point. Um, of course you can upgrade, uh, you can keep on upgrading that one, but there are maybe other upgrades that is more important for you I I at, that, at this point here as well. So go back more, look into Rebook Guard, depending on what you have done before, if you're gonna update at that and so on. The biggest change for you then, is that you, you, you probably then are, are also gonna keep on upgrading the qualification station to 100% and then you're gonna upgrade it with this with a new formula here on this one according to that video and so on so you're gonna upgrade this one according to this one and when this is 100% then you can keep on upgrading the speed depending on your income yes and that's why while you're you should not focus on getting metallics it's very important to focus on your income because increasing your income 
doing the best steps to increase your income is what's going to make your uh, chance of getting metallic better. Okay, not a chance, but you will get metallics quicker because of it. Because you can hatch more pets, because you can increase the speed more here. And in the end, you're going to have like 6 egg per second, because you're going to hatch from the egg in 1 per second and 5 here. And you can hatch 6 per second. And that's going to help you, to, that's going to make so that you hatch tremendous of egg per hour or per day. And it then it's going to go a shorter time between every metallic you get. And then you can continue to upgrade your metallic luck there. Okay, so that we then we have talked about this um, uh, metallic here. So okay, now we have been talking about how to speed up. So and so, what is your aim with a the metallic then? Right? We have been talking about everything about oh, free egg. We need to have a free egg. Always a free egg here. But what is your aim in a way? Because you have you are in this area, and we was just saying that um, in income is very important. Of course, yeah. So your best team here, you see I have giants at the moment. But your best team, if you have that as a metallic in here, if you have shiny, you probably have shiny pets, right? And you are starting to get metallic pets instead here. So it's it, the aim, aim of you is to, of course, increase your income so that you can hatch more eggs. Hatching more eggs is going to increase uh, how many uh, metallics you get. Increasing the chance of getting metallics is going to increase how many uh, metallics you have. So your first aim is going to get a full prodigious and... Um, uh, let me see, uh, let me take it here instead. So you're going to focus first to get a full prodigious and ascended team. Your prodigious one is going to be the strongest one and then ascend is going to be the second strongest one. And you want to try to focus and keep on doing this until you have titanium, full titanium prodigious team and full titanium ascended team in the 12 spots that you have here. So that is what you're going to aim for, for in the first, because then you are maxed your, uh, your damage. After that, you have that full team of titaniums. There is kind of no better pets you can get for a long long time it's a long time still then to get giants so what the next thing you need to do then is to focus it of course getting more shiny skins that's going to help you in that way right so but in a way okay how far and long should you focus on those shiny skins because those shiny key skins is again because of prospera because of this uh, upgrade that we have behind here it's going to increase the damage of your team so it's a good question how, how for how long are you going to do that and so on well the thing is that in the game has changed a little bit now is that you will keep on do following that reboot guide therefore that I have that and do the rest of the upgrade because you are back to increase just focus on how to increase your gold income the mostly. That is to keep doing the wall upgrades, keep the, do the rebirth upgrades, and also keep doing the metallic uh, chance upgrade there. But at some point, you want to prepare to get giants, okay? So to prepare to get giants, you basically must have, then we have to talk about what is it, what, what do you have to have to get the giant? You can see that on Giants 1-on-1 one -on -one here. When you hit the Pentastroy, your Giant Lock will be rolled. So, I, okay, I can explain shortly what a Pentastrike is uh, in some seconds. But basically, what you need to have here, you can see here, in success, uh, in success to get the Giant, you will receive plus one Giant, right? Skin. Only if you have a Titanium for that pet type. Okay. And also, basically, the only giants that you can have in the beginning is common. I will come to why very shortly in the end of this video, but I'm also going to make sh very shortly now um, also a video about giants where I'm going to talk more about this. But basically, what you need, you need to get your uh, common metallic uh, metallics up to titaniums as I have here. You can see I can have titanium icons, and I have only two that I haven't been uh, getting titanium and so on. So basically your next goal now is before you're going to go to giants is to get at least 50% of your common t uh, titaniums um, uh, up to uh, uh, common metallics uh, up to titanium levels okay the most required the best is uh, uh, 70% but at least 50% okay so that uh, because you need to have if i get a, a giant chance on this one I would lose it and it would show this diamond and uh, I lost it. I would not got to get it. You must have this one in here. Okay. So basically for that. Um, 
And then these things is a little bit more complex, so it's very important for you also to see the giant and also the lab update for understanding this very carefully. And I'm going to use try to make more and more video about it. Uh, also, many is asking, okay, where do you have the ascended egg? Well, the ascended egg it, you will not get before you have 100 metallic in score. Then you can get into uh, uh, the uh, mine. And in mine, you have this one here, and here you can unlock the ascended egg and the ascended egg will only appear inside of the generation station as here okay so you will not get it as not you cannot uh, hatch ascended down here that's still going to be prodigious uh, oh, oh now sorry um if i uh, to understand this more you can hatch ascended down here but on eggs the best egg you can hatch is the prodigious so you can't hatch anything better than prodigious shit right but automation station can hatch ascended so ascended is only for doing that and what is this going to do with your metallic team that you can hatch ascended well basically what this is going to do with your metallic team is that when for your shiny skins when you uh, was hatching only prodigious and they was fused up to ascended and then mythical you will get most prodigious shiny skins no, no, most prodigious on the skins, right? But when you unlock the ascended egg uh, in the auto, auto generator, over some time, the ascended, then you, at some time you will get more ascended skins than prodigious skin, and even later on you will get more mythical skins than you get ascended skins. So in a way, it will go from uh, your best metallic team to be a prodigious ones and ascended to be. Uh, uh, um, pred still be prodigious and ascended and then later on it's going to be prodigious mythical and it's going to be myth mythical ascended and so on so in the end your best metallic pads is going to be the mythical when you get into the end game so that is a bit a change in that way okay so what what is how do you how can you then get a giant so that is important to understand so that's the last thing i'm going to talk about in here so basically to get a giant you get in here you have this it on that's only going to affect what you can hatch down here you can still not get a giant so to be able to get a giant you must buy this stone pickaxe here and you see this is the pickaxe for common eggs and this can only mine common eggs this one here can mine com uh, co uh, uncommon eggs this one can mine rare eggs, epic eggs, and so on. It goes one for each of the different ones that you have. They're also going to give a little bit more stones and so on. It's not important at the moment. This is what you're going to see in the guide of uh, giants. But you need a stone pickaxe. When you have a stone pickaxe, then you must upgrade this one here. Double strike lock, and um, triple strike lock, quarter strike lock, and penta strike lock, and giant lock. So how does it work? Well. You go over here and you press on this one and you mine okay so every time every time you hit this one here you see you have a hundred percent chance of here for the common one you're gonna have hundred percent here so every time you hit there you will roll if I gonna have like 17.5 percent chance of getting a double strike if I get a double strike it will roll a triple strike large chance uh, and then I have 17.5 percent of chance for that again and if I get that I will have a chance for quadra and if I get that I will have a chance for Panta and if I have that I have a chance for giant luck right and if I have a successive roll for this giant luck then it's gonna go in between here like after here it's gonna go into your table, it's gonna look at your metallics, and it's gonna say, and I got a spotted dog. So it's gonna say, okay, you got the, you got the giant, but do you have a titanium common skin? And then go say, diamond. And then you're gonna, and it goes worse. And you will not get the giant, because you are missing the titanium skin. And that's why it's so important this year. And if, if I got a golden dog, it's gonna go in here and say, okay, you got one, and do you have it? Yes, when do you can get, and you can get super lucky, because that's your first giant, and you're gonna get that giant as well, right? So that is how it's working. So if you go to the statistic page here, and you see down here, it says one in 4,736. This is without the last step I was talking about. So if you only have 10% of those, then you have to times this with 10. Then it's actually going to be 1 in 47,000, right? 
So you also have to take into account how many titaniums you have of that type in addition. And then is a very more and more important thing. This is the last thing for you that uh, is still in this video here that many people do not understand. Okay, so if you have got uh, some common giants and you want to get further to get uncommon giants. The first thing of course is to get this pickaxe and many goes in. Oh yeah, I want to get this more fast here. I'm going to get this fast so I can start with uncommon one. Is that possible? No, absolutely not possible. And if you're going to see when I'm mining an uncommon here, you see my chance is not 100% anymore. It's 85-7% chance here. So this is also affecting. This is additional to this one. This 85% chance is not in this one. So it, it, according to how many skins I have here, but this 85% also is adding on here. So in this case, if I only had 10%, it's going to be 45,000 and 85%. I'm going to use and like 15% more than that. It's going to be like 60,000 in that. So, and how does is this percentage calculated? Well, that percentage here is calculated. That um, it's going to take. Okay, if you want to have an uncommon one, I have to look at the giants. I have to look at the giants when I say it. I have like I, there is 42 possible, but I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. So basically, it's gonna say it's gonna times with 36, and uh, yeah, 30, 36, and divide by 42. So 36 divided by 36 by divided by 42 is 85 percent chance, and this is afflicting on the next one as well. So if I go on here, let's see here. Yeah, look look at the legendary. I can't even mine it because I don't have the axe. But you see, it's 0 0.39 here, and that is because it's gonna be the chance of how many giant commons I collected into the com uncommon times with how many uncommon I got off the total uncommon into a, a rare times with how many of the rare I have got off the uh, rare uncommon uh, rare giants and how many of the epic giants I have got of the epic uh, epic uh, possible giant giants and you see the chance is 0.39% so remember <laughs> this makes it impossible for me to get the legendary so there is in a way no point to get that axe before that okay so basically um, this should be everything that you need to think about when it comes to metallic the last thing I want to say is uh, of course the um, the achievement one so also what is uh, gonna increase the chance of getting metallic is while you are getting these different achievements you can you will get better met chance of getting metallic by here so achievement is also adding to to uh, to how much uh, uh, metallics that you can get in in, the, in in here as well so that is also totally uh, helping you to get more metallics uh, in the game as well okay this was number one guy viper toffee uh, and so on i hope you like this video i hope it's helping you how to speed up metallic how to prepare for giants and everything and so on have a really nice day and hope to see you on my next live stream. Thank you and bye bye.